We are here at the recreation office at Pink Shell and we've turned it into a makeshift laboratory. I am here with Claire and Colin. And we are going to be doing some water density experiments and some water tension experiments and just some neat little things we're going to find out. Because All right, so you guys, so I have some shells, some twigs, some packing peanuts, but these are eco-friendly packing peanuts, some ice, and then I have a paper clip challenge that I want you folks to try. And we have a uh, some type of palm seed that he keeps calling photosynthesis, which it is not doing that yet, but if he produces it properly, it might. All right, let's go. All right, you can cut it there. So the first density experiment we're going to do is going to be seeing if these shells we can get to float or sink. See what they're going to do. Some shells will float um, depending on what the density of the water is. Now density is has to do with molecules. So molecules are the super tiny little things that everything is made up of. And this is fresh water and this is salt water. So have you guys ever been in a pool? Or actually you guys were just in the ocean, let's talk about that. Is it easier to float in the ocean or in a pool? Both, do you think? Salt water? What do you think? So, no, you're not good at floating in salt water? So, that is kind of different than most people, so you must be even more special. <laughs> but salt water has more molecules in it because it's not just the hydrogen and oxygen, it's also the salt. So, salt water is less dense than fresh water. And that means, or sorry, more dense. So that means things are going to float on it easier. Yeah, so you guys take these to see if anything different happens. You can put them in. Sometimes you put them in certain ways, it might help a little bit. Okay. Later on the shot, Chase. Oh. No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> so what did you guys think? Is that what you thought would happen? No. That is not photosynthesis. <laughs> okay, so shells are usually gonna sink. That's just how it is. Let's try the sticks. Probably gonna, probably gonna float. Float, you think? Yeah. Try it. Yep. They both float in that one. Good. Now, how about fresh water ice? What do we think? Any difference? Probably gonna float. Float? They both float. We're not having a lot of differences. What great experiment. From the ice is less dense than the salt water, so it is creating a little area on top that is just fresh water. Which we knew the whole time. Why are you laughing? I didn't mess up on this tape. He's not laughing. He knows it's true. There we go. Okay, good. All right. So let's take out all of the things we put in, except for the ice. <laughs> Just right on your tray. And you can record it if you want to. You don't want to get your fingers wet? Oh, I'm coming to the ocean, but I don't like water. Okay. So the next thing is we have these packing peanuts. Now most packing peanuts are made out of some type of plastic. These are made out of essentially corn and they will dissolve eventually. So I'm just curious personally, which one is going to dissolve in fresh water or salt water faster? So drop them on in and you have a stick for stirring. <gasps> Recycling. Yeah, just give it a little, let's see what happens there. Yeah, on sticks. <laughs> Well, I, how about we just use, I'm just going to use my fingers then, and we're going to see if we can get it to dissolve. That looks like a sand clay. Why don't you pinch it like I did? I pinched mine a little bit and made it go a little faster. That looks like a sand clay. Haha, it's stuck to you. You see my sand tornado? I do. This is going to be one of those scenes where we're going to fast forward, and it's going to show us talking, and it's going to be... Yeah, I know, right? 
Yeah, I'm gonna squeeze yours a little bit here. So it's actually going a lot faster. I can just feel it in my fingers in the salt water. But it's better than plastic. So we have decided that we want to learn what sand is. And sand is a mixture of silica, which is like um, all kinds of different minerals. You, you can even make glass out of sand. Glass originally was made by melting sand down. Um, and we're gonna find out if we can make sand out of crushing seashells. Because seashells are made uh, from the animal eating what's around it and the minerals turn into these shells. Look how happy she is to be on camera. So, we're gonna have a little experiment here and see what will happen if we can crush this, uh, these shells down here. Now in nature, this happens in the wild as the waves and the wind are constantly rubbing these shells and the rocks and the glass and the sand all together, uh, making them rounder and making them more fine. And we're just speeding up the process here and we're, they're just smashing the shells and they're getting some really good results because it's making real sand. Just a lot quicker. One side is natural sand one side is crushed shell sand. Which do you think is which? Okay, so now we are going to make some boats and race them and see if they are seaworthy. We have a whole bunch of supplies here and we're gonna put them together and see what we can uh, accomplish. I love the ballast underneath, that's awesome. Like and subscribe to my channel. It's Your heart chose me. Alright, you just go it. You go. She's gone. <laughs> <laughs>